A quarter of a century, a pivotal time in many young adults' lives. Do you keep dreaming or do you settle for something, conform to an easy option that society deems customary? For Trevor Knight, 25 years old is the perfect age to give it all he has, keeps his pursuit in professional football alive, and live life full of passion towards the game he so deeply loves. This weekend marked the first practices of training camp for the Alliance of American Football. All eight teams in San Antonio for a month of camp. Knight, the quarterback for the Arizona Hotshots. This, a second chance. Absolutely it is. Uh, for a lot of guys, all the guys out here, it's either a second chance or it's a first chance for guys that got maybe overlooked or, or didn't get that opportunity early on. And so the, the design of this league is really something special. And I think it will, over the years to come, prove to be something that's really beneficial to the NFL and their scouting department. The NFL. A path Knight tried to go down in 2017, he was signed as an undrafted rookie by the Arizona Cardinals, was let go, then joined the Atlanta Falcons practice squad. Momentum, but then adversity struck. It was an incredible start to an NFL career. Thought I had the chance to get drafted, didn't, but went out to Arizona and learned from some of the greats. Carson Palmer was out there, to, to name one of them, and then went out to Atlanta with Matt Ryan and Matt Schaub. And, until I had back surgery last October. Um, it was just a great learning opportunity. Um, and you know, now moving forward, I, I hope I get that chance. But at the time, I didn't know if, if football was still in the cards. Um, and, and the Alliance has given me that opportunity to keep playing football and chasing that dream. A dream he's had alive since Knight was a kid growing up in San Antonio. Knight was the star QB at Ronald Reagan High School. His senior year, Knight had 2,092 yards through the air and 27 touchdowns, plus more than 940 rushing yards and 15 touchdowns with his feet. A dual threat quarterback, a trait that has stuck with him years later. Yeah, well, San Antonio is a great place. I loved growing up here. People care about their football down here, and it's, it's really kind of funny to be back uh, you know, playing ball here so many years later. But what really put Knight on a big stage was playing for the University of Oklahoma. He led the Sooners to the 2014 Sugar Bowl victory over the two-time reigning champs, Alabama. He was on top of the world. I learned everything at Oklahoma. Um, you know, playing high school ball in Texas was great, but you get up to college and it's a new level of football. And I had great coaching staffs there my whole time. Got to play a lot of great football and, and playing a bunch of big games. But then Baker Mayfield happened. A new star transfer QB came in and took Knight's starting job. But Knight wasn't going to give up that easy. He transferred to Texas A&M for his last year. It was a leap of faith. Um, I had my twin brother at Oklahoma that I was playing with. I had a bunch of buddies. I, I loved the place, uh, but I knew that I had the ability and the opportunity to go play somewhere for my senior year. And so I took the leap of faith and went down to Aggieland and it couldn't have been a better, better decision for me. Um, just the way that Coach Sumlin at the time and his staff brought me in and the players and the campus, it was, it, it really was a dream come true. A Texas boy returning to play some Texas football, but more trouble in paradise when he battled a shoulder injury. Dealing with that, trying to impress NFL teams. After his four years in college ball, his dream of pro football was still alive. Before the draft in 2017, Knight worked out with another popular QB in Texas, Dak Prescott. I think that one thing that I learned from him most is this position rides on confidence. If you believe in yourself, you believe in the people got in the guys around you, then you're going to be a much better quarterback. Clearly, Knight took Dak's advice. Knight's confidence, a main contributor in keeping his football dream alive. Now, February 10th, he'll be under the lights once again in the Arizona Hotshot season opener. 25 years old, a few bends in the road, but the former Reagan Rattler is certainly on his way. For Sports Tonight, I'm Adriana Torres.